So uh, number four, right, is TQVE and related term. Now, TQVE is a sentence structure, not for your introductions, not for your thesis statements, not for your topic sentences or link sentences, but for the sentences that sit inside the body paragraph. Okay, so when we're looking at your body paragraphs in all of your essays, when we're thinking about how you bring in the evidence, some of you might be beyond this right now, but it nonetheless helps to know uh, the, the foundational structure here from which you can then layer on your own kind of um, your own flavor, right? You can add your own flavor to this structure and you can then play around with it. But the basic structure for a sentence of analysis, which again is embedded in all of your body paragraphs, and you'll have three to four of these, you might have that question, how much evidence do I need in all of my essays? Well, if you're doing a three body paragraph essay, I would say if you can write fast enough, and we'll talk about timing later, but if you can write fast enough, three to four pieces of evidence in separate sentences would be the answer there, ideally four. So I would always aim for 12 pieces of analysis in an essay. So that could be three paragraphs with four pieces of evidence in each. So four quotes, for instance. Or if you were doing a four body paragraph essay, which I would only recommend doing for module A, if anything, you could still do a three body paragraph for module A. The, module A for advanced, for the advanced students here. For standard students, I would only be doing three body paragraph essays. You should never have more than three. For an advanced student, if you're doing that comparative essay for module A, textual conversations, then you might consider doing four bodies whereby you split the essay up into two halves, essentially, and then you consider how two key ideas apply to each text and you kind of go back and forth like that AB, AB. So that's when you do a four body. In that case, you would do three pieces of analysis per paragraph. If you are a slower writer, is anyone here a slower writer, which is absolutely fine. And uh, I work with a lot of you know writers who would consider themselves a slow writer. It's absolutely fine. Who, who puts themselves in that category? The reality is, I mean, how we define in that, I mean, yeah, there's a few of you already saying it, but I imagine on average, most people would struggle to do four pieces of analysis in each paragraph and still get that done in time, having considered the question in all of their sentences, right? So there's also the adaptation that has to take place throughout. That's why timing is so important. And that's why it was the first thing I had on this, but uh, for the sake of the flow and continuity, I, I want to continue with some of these other points.